In this video, I'm going to walk you through some of the features available in the iOS MyNex Base application designed to help you manage and make best use of your NextBase Series 2 dash cams. In this case, you'll see this is linked to my NextBase 422GW. Currently, it's connected by Bluetooth. If you click on the little hamburger menu up here, um, you get a list on there. If you click next to my dash cam, you'll get three options in there. So the first one, check for updates. Do you know if your device is up to date with the latest firmware? That will give you a quick update and tell you whether it is the case or not. So mine is updated, latest version 4.8 is installed. So that's good news. Very easy to check. It means you're not having to take the camera out. You're not having to look on the screen on the camera, go into the settings menu and figure it all out. And then go and looking up on the internet, see what the latest version is, does all that for you. If we go to SD card analysis, so this is telling me how my card's been used. It's a 32 gig card. I'm using 28.5 gigs of it. And it's giving me some information about the format and the model number and things like that. The type of information that I suspect the um, NextBase support people would find quite useful if you're reporting problems with performance of your SD card, getting error messages or finding corruption on your files. You also get the format option, which will wipe out any files, um, including the protected files and give you an empty SD card again to carry on running. Again, means you're not having to go onto the device, go through the menus or unplug it or take the SD card out. You can do it all from within your phone while you're sat in your car. The final one and probably the most useful is the settings menu. So if you have a look at my settings video that I uploaded previously, you'll see that all these are the standard settings you'll see on the device. So if I want to change the video resolution, I can go into here. I can get a list of the different vi video resolutions in there as well. It tells me what the default is as well. If I want to change the number plate and put the number plate on there, now, this is really useful. Instead of going up and down, up and down, and left and right to get your number plates in, you can type it into here. So that's really useful and again, very quick to do. You got all the other options on your timestamps on there. G Sensor, Screen Saver, you see my screen savers on, my parking mode is on, my languages and country are set in there. And again, I can get the system information there. Again, something I suspect NextBase support would find useful. I can imagine them asking you to screenshot this and send it through to them on a fairly regular basis. You can see all the settings in there. Great way to actually manage your device. Um, not have to once so once it's in place, you really don't have to worry about it. We click on Live View then. That connects to the device via Wi-Fi and gives me a live view out of the front camera. Useful for initial setup and making sure and seeing how it's working and looking whether you've got a good view out the window and also perhaps just checking things at random while you're going through the device. Let's just see if that comes up or not. There you go, it's pointing downwards at a white sheet through plastic at the moment but that's what it looks like. Then if you go into the dash cam, here you'll see a list of files, you can scroll through those and you'll be able to look for some footage. Um, so here for example is some front footage out of the device. Hope you enjoyed that overview of the capabilities of the iOS app. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please press like and subscribe to the channel. Keep up to date with any new videos I'm doing.